Busy Jimmy here with another Acid Archive submission. Uh, sorry, I've been away a little bit. Uh, I've been really ill uh, the last week or so. Still a little under the weather, but starting to feel a little better. Uh, so I was able to make this cool submission from the Acid Archives Diaries from Blue Mountain Eagle. This is their only release from... Well, technically 1969, but the original USA first pressing is from 1970. And it is indeed in this book here, which we'll read in a sec. Just a little bit on this. Um, this band was started by Dewey Martin, who was the drummer of Buffalo Springfield. And Dewey wanted to kind of create a new Buffalo Springfield. So originally he named the band uh, the new Buffalo Springfield. <laughs> so naturally, um, you know, he got he got together some of his buddies and uh, created this band. A uh, couple notables. Uh, we got Randy Fuller uh, from the Randy Fuller Four. Um, and we also have uh, Joey Newman, Don Poncher, to name a few course Dewey Martin uh, and uh, naturally Neil Young and Stephen Stills decided to sue or threaten legal action uh, that uh, against Dewey stating he could not use the Buffalo Springfield name which makes sense uh, not sure what he was thinking this isn't Buffalo Springfield uh, yes the album um, has it will remind you of Buffalo Springfield at times, uh, but this is a little harder edged, I think, uh, a little more acid involved here uh, from Blue Mountain Eagle. Uh, and this was pressed on Echo Records, and uh, I played a snippet for you from side one, track five called Loveless Lives. There's the Echo label. Loveless Lives was written by, I believe, Poncher, yep about his relationship with his significant other. So, in his family dynamic. You know, Loveless Lives doesn't sound like a fun dynamic, but uh, that is the case. Uh, there's five tracks on side one, five on side two. Uh, the vinyl itself, this is a uh, Presswell cut, and boy, does it sound great. Uh, it sounds live and full very three-dimensional lots of transparency here with this uh, so highest recommendation to pick up an original USA pressing which really is very inexpensive you can get a VG plus copy for around 40 bucks um, this one here is a sweet uh, near mint copy in the shrink uh, which will probably run you about 60 bucks so um, you know, really good country rock, acid rock, uh, psych rock, kind of all mixed together. Very reminiscent of Buffalo Springfield for sure. Um, so let me just go ahead and read out of this book, which I know you're all excited for. Second edition, page 44. Uh, reviewed by P.L., which is Patrick Lum, uh, is it Lundberg. Lundborg, Lundberg, Lundborg, Lundberg. Uh, okay, so he goes on to say, as far as the music per dollar value goes, this is one of the best scores out there. A second tier super group of sorts. These guys put together an LP, a ballsy psych hard rock transition tunes boosted by a fat production with dual guitar leads Great bass runs by Randy Fuller and tight ensemble singing. Really nice harmonies on this, I forgot to mention. Some Christian concerns appear in the lyrics and the album has a bit of an agape, all saved freak band feel. The sound is a consistent, consistently balanced mix of West Coast rock British hard rock and early southern rock. It would have fit well on the Nesca label. To nitpick some, 
The male ensemble singing creates a somewhat detached feel, and the production is too slick in places. But if on a private label with some female vocals, this would have been a $500 record. A great opening track gives a good idea of the album's sound. Judging by the catalog number, the LP was released in the spring of 1970. A French pressing also exists, and there is a non-LP 45 track on that as well, or on a 45. So there you have it. Blue Mountain Eagle, self-titled, from 1970. The new Buffalo Springfield, as Dewey Martin wanted to call themselves. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Uh, on Echo Records, so definitely seek this one out. You will not be sorry. You will love this album, especially if you're into those genres I mentioned and that were talked about in the book. But hey, thanks for watching. Hope to make another one soon, as soon as I can get my voice back. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.